डी डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे माय क्लासेस सिक्स्थ क्लास मैथ्स चैप्टर फाइव अंडरस्टैंडिंग एलिमेंट्री शेप्स एक्सरसाइज 5.2 बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस क्लास प्लीज सब्सक्राइब किंग क्लासरूम फॉर मैथ्स एंड कंप्यूटर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड वॉच द वीडियोज लर्न द सब्जेक्ट एंड शेयर टू योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू now coming to the class 6th class max chapter 5 understanding elementary shapes exercise 5.2 first one what is the fraction of clockwise revolution revolution does the hour hand of the clock turn through what it goes from 3 to 9 4 to 7 and 7 to 10 12 to 9 and 1 to 10 and 6 to 3 solution a yeah. 3 to 9 Of revolution is covered when, uh, when, when the hour hand goes from three to nine in the clockwise direction. The number, the number of hours covered by the clockwise revolution from three to nine is six hours. So twelve hours means one full revolution. Revolution. Half hour means one by twelve revolution. Six hours means six into one by twelve. That is half revolution. Answer. The uh, half revolution is covered when the hour hand goes from three to nine in the clockwise direction. B. Four to seven. Four to seven is one fourth revolution covered when the When the hour hand goes from four to seven in the clockwise direction, the number of hours covered in the revolution four to seven is three. So twelve hours is equal to one revolution. One hour is equal to one by twelve revolution. That is equal to three hours is equal to three into one by twelve. That is one by four revolution. Hmm? Answer is one by four revolution when the hour hand goes from. Four to seven in the clockwise direction. C. C. Seven to twelve. Ten. One fourth revolution covered when when the hour hand goes from seven to ten in the clockwise direction. The number of hours covered in the clockwise revolution from one seven to ten is three hours. Same. Twelve hours is equal to one full revolution. That is equals to one hour is equals to one by twelve revolution. Three hours is equal to three into one by twelve. Three into one by twelve. Three can be cancelled in twelve four times. So one by four revolution. Answer is one by four revolution covered when the hour hand goes from seven to ten in the clockwise direction. D. So D. Twelve to nine. Twelve to nine. Three fourth revolution covered. When the hour hand goes to twelve to nine in the clockwise direction, so one hour is equal to one by twelve. Nine hours means nine into one nine into one by twelve. That is equal to three fourth revolution. So answer is three fourth revolution is covered when the hour hand goes from 12 to 9 in the clockwise direction 12 to 9 means 9 hours okay e so e is 1 to 10 three fourth revolution covered when when the hour hand goes from 1 to 10 in the clockwise direction the number of hours covered in the clockwise revolution from 1 to 10 is 9 hours So one hour is equal to one by twelve revolution. That's equal to nine hours is equal to nine into one by twelve. That is three by four revolution. That answer is three by four revolution covered when the hour hand goes from one to ten in clockwise direction. Six to yeah, four, six to three. Three by four revolution covered when the Our hand goes from three six to three in the clockwise direction. The number of hours covered in the clockwise direction three to three six to three is nine hours. So one hour is equal to one by twelve. Nine hours uh, is equal to nine into uh, one by twelve. That is three divided in nine three times twelve divided in four times three by four revolution. 
so t by 4 revolution covered when the clock when the hour hand goes from 6 to 3 in the clockwise direction okay first one so a is 1 by 2th revolution b is 1 by 4 c is 1 by 4 d is 1 by 4 and is e is 3 by 4 f is 3 by 4 g is 3 by 4 okay now second problem where will be the hand of the clock clock stop if the a starts from starts at 12 uh, and makes half of the revolution clockwise so problem given solution first solution complete revolution of full rotation means complete uh, turn so it points back to the same way let's understand the concept of turning clockwise and anti clockwise in one of one completion revolution the clock moves 360 degrees or 12 hours so like this 12 hours or 360 degrees in one complete revolution of the clock hand turns to each point 360 degrees or 12 hours one revolution is equals to 12 hours using the unitary method we have half revolution means 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 uh, 6 hours 1 by 4 revolution means 12 by 4 is equals to 3 hours and 3 by 4 revolution means 3 into 12 by 4 that is equals to 9 hours. A. A. If the clock hand, clock hand starts at 12 and makes half revolution, it would stop after 6 hours. That is 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock. B. Solution. If the clock hand starts at 2, makes half revolution, it will be stopped it will it would stop a stop after six hours that is eight eight o'clock okay uh, if the clock hand starts at five makes one fourth revolution one fourth revolution means three hours it would stop after three so five plus three at eight at eight o'clock it will stop if the clock hand starts at five makes 3 fourth. 3 fourth means 9 hours here so it would stop after 9 hours that is 2 at 2 o'clock therefore the clock will uh, clock hand will stop at 6 it will stop at 8 b stop at 8 c and d at clock stop at 2 o'clock so third problem which direction will you face if you start facing east at half of the revolution clockwise each way each ways i am explaining here the east east west north south solution we will using the concepts of revolution and clockwise and anti clockwise rotation to solve this if we start facing east makes a half of the revolution clockwise we will face the best direction. One revolution is equal to 360 degrees. Half revolution is 180 degrees. Thus, we start from east, move to 180 degrees clockwise, stop at west. A is over. B. If we start facing east, make one and a half hour revolution clockwise, we will face west because one hour is equal to 360 degrees. One revolution is equal to 360 degrees. Half revolution is 180. So, one and half revolution means 360 plus 180 that is equal to one revolution and another half revolution. Thus, we start from east, moves clockwise 360 degrees to complete one revolution and continue moving from another 180 that is equal to half revolution stopped at west. If we see, if we start facing at the west 3 fourth revolution anti clockwise we will use the facing the north direction one revolution is 360 degrees 3 by 4 revolution is 270 degrees half revolution plus one fourth that is equals to 180 plus 90 degrees thus we start from west to move 180 degrees anti-clockwise half revolution till east 
and continue moving 90 degrees one fourth revolution anti clockwise stop at north okay d it does not matter if we turn clockwise or anti clockwise taking one full revolution it will make full revolution and reach back to the starting point thus after one complete revolution that is 360 degrees we will stop at the same point from we had started that is south okay fourth problem 360 degrees means complete revolution complete revolution means starting point is the ending point okay what is the path of revolution have we have you turned through if you had if you stand facing east to east and turn clock to face north solution solution we will use the concept of revolution clockwise and clockwise rotation to solve this if we start from east turn clockwise to face north three fourth of the revolution is required so image below east to north three fourth b if we start from south turn clockwise to face east three fourth revolution is required so south to east 3/4 here okay if we start from west turn clockwise to face uh, east face east half revolution is required so west to east half revolution is required okay fifth problem find the number of right angles turned through by the hour hand of a clock when it goes from 3 to 6 like that solution we will use the concept of revolution and clockwise rotation to solve this 3 to 6 the hour hand turns through one right angle that is starting from 3 to 6 2 to 8 2 to 8 hour hand turns two right angles to to 8 okay 5 to 11 the hour hand and uh, start uh, turns two right angles starting from 2 5 to 12 please check the uh, clock wall clock two right angles will be formed 10 to 1 the hour hand uh, turns only one right angle 10 to 1 12 to 9 three right angles because 3/4 uh, it will rotate so three right angles 12 to 6 only two right angles half rotation that is two right angles 12 to 6 okay sixth how many right angles do you have do you make if the start facing you start facing south and turn clockwise to west solution where we will using the concept of revolution and clockwise and anti clockwise rotation right angles to solve this a yeah. The number of right angles made while facing the south and turning clockwise to west one right angle. B. The number of right angles made while facing the north and turning anti-clockwise to east three right angles. No, north to north to east means three fourth. So three right angles. The number of right angles made while facing west. turning to west four right angles so complete revolution west to west means four right angles the number of right angles made while facing the south and turning to the north two right angles south to north means half portion half of the rotation will be completed two right angles seventh problem where will be the hour hand of the clock stop if the if it starts if it starts from 6 and turns to one right angle so four problems is there a b c d solution given here solution we will be using the concepts of clockwise and anti clockwise rotation right angle to solve this a starting from 6 to 6 and turning through one right angle the hour hand stops at 9 so uh refer to the below image chum look at the image starting from 6 to 9 uh, means one right angle this one is right angle so b so b 
starting from 8 8 turning to 2 8 to 2 2 right angles because 8 to 11 one right angle 11 to 2 is another right angle 2 right angles starting from 10 and turning to 3 10 to 3 10 to 3 the 3 right angles 10 to 3 10 to 3 right angles then uh, 10 turning 3 right angles 3 right angles means this one this one is one right angle and this one is one right angle and this one is one right angle stops at 7 3 right angles means 3 fourth covered so 10 to 7 ok 10 to 1 is one right angle 1 to 4 is another right angle 4 to 7 is the um, another right angle 3 right angles means stops at 7 D starting 7 and uh, turning through straight lines through two straight lines at uh, our hand stops at 7 7 7 starting from turning two straight lines two straight lines means one straight line 7 to 1 and uh, and uh, and stops at 7 8 to 7 is also 8 to 2 8 to 2 is another straight line only two straight lines will be formed two huh? so this one is two straight angle stops at uh, Stop set two right angles means two. Stop set two. D will be two. One start starting seven. Straight angle means seven to one is on one straight angle. Eight to two is another straight angle. So stop set two. Okay. Two straight angles. Okay. Thank you to watch complete video. Thank you students. And like the video, share the video to your friends.